don't know about you, but I want to live my life to the absolute fullest. I want to wake up every day feeling excited and passionate about the day ahead. If you feel the same, this video is for you. This is not about making more New Year's resolutions that, let's face it, you're probably going to forget about by February. This is really about uncovering your purpose for your life and creating a vision that is really going to help you live every day with more intention. I'm going to walk you guys through the step-by-step -step process that I use at the beginning of every year to really uncover what my vision is for the year ahead and then how I turn that vision into a reality. One of the most powerful tools that I use in my own life to create change is vision boarding. Just think about it. Everything you've ever done, every choice you've ever made started as something in your imagination. When you visualize those thoughts through the images and words that you put up on your vision board, you start to feel what your dream life feels like. You start attracting the energy that you want to create, and you're really taking a first step in becoming a more authentic and expansive version of yourself. This is not about becoming someone else or making over your life. It's really about going deep and becoming more of the person that you really are, more of the person that you were meant to be. If you're new to vision boarding, you might actually be shocked at how many of the things you put on your vision board actually happen and potentially this year, but often it's in ways that you never imagined would happen. At least that's been the case with me. There have been so many times when I have just like put my wildest, big, crazy dreams on my vision board thinking there is no way this would ever happen and then somehow it came to life but usually in ways that I never guessed. I started a business in my early 20s and over a decade later I'm still doing what I love every single day. I met my soulmate and we built our family together. I wrote a book. I'm renovating a beach house which is a lifelong dream of mine and I launched a home goods brand when I had zero experience in how to sell products. These are all things that at one point felt so big and so out of reach, I was actually afraid to even say them out loud because I didn't want to sound silly. But by saying them, writing them down, and putting them up on my vision board where I could see them every single day, those dreams just started to become real. I can't really explain it other than it focused my attention on the things that I really wanted in life. And the funny thing is now I dare to dream even bigger dreams. Let's dive into my actual process. How do you discover the vision for your life even if you have no idea what it is or where to begin? Well, these are my four steps. First, you have to discover your vision, which I'm gonna help you do, don't worry. Then you're gonna set intentions for each of your life spaces. Then you're gonna take all those ideas and actually build your vision board. And last, I'm gonna share the practices that I put in place to bring that vision to life over the course of the year. Before we begin, I wanna share with you guys a really powerful tool that I created this year to help you dive into this process in an even deeper way. It's my vision board kit for Casa Zuma, and you guys, I could not be more excited about this product. It feels like one of the most aligned things I've ever created, and it really follows this process that I've been sharing about for years in a physical, beautiful, tangible way. It has everything you need in this kit to help you create a beautiful and aligned vision for your life. There's a big linen pin board, just like the one that I have in my office that I look at every day. There's a guide and a journal that will help walk you through the process of uncovering your vision for your own life. I'm so excited for you guys to see this. I'll link it below. If you have the Casa Zuma vision board kit, go ahead and grab it because I'm gonna walk you through the process. And if you don't, just grab a journal and pen so you can write some things down. We definitely have some journaling to do. Okay, we're gonna start with the practice that I call my dream life. In this exercise, you are going to visualize what your dream life looks like, feels like, sounds like, tastes like. You don't have to be super realistic here. You really can let your imagination run free. And to help me let go of the feeling that my dream life might equal status or material possessions, what I like to do is walk through what a dream day in my life actually looks like. Describe your dream home. What does it look and feel like? Who lives there with you? What are you doing in your dream day? What are you wearing? What do you eat? What's your job? What emotions do you feel? Are you present, curious, engaged, happy? Now think about who you are in this dream life scenario and how you could be more like her right now. Make the choices that she would make. Are there ways that you could wake up tomorrow morning and do what she would do? This is a way to start making choices that are aligned with the life that you're ultimately trying to build. 
The next step is where we start to get a little more granular because our dream lives have to include all the different parts of ourselves. For example, let's say you have all the career success in the world, but your relationships are suffering. You are not going to thrive. You will not be a happy person. So this is really about finding balance in your life and prioritizing the different parts of your lives that are important to you. I'm going to tell you what the life spaces that I've outlined for myself are, but feel free to adapt them if you have other priorities or other life spaces that you want to prioritize as well. My first life space is my well-being. This is what it looks and feels like to nurture my mind, body, and soul and be my most vibrant, glowing, and nurtured self. It's how I practice self-care, wellness, movement, self-cultivation, and creative expression. The next life space is my relationships. This is what it looks and feels like to be in my most treasured, beautiful, and desired relationships with partners, friends, and family. My next life space is my career and creative life. What it looks and feels like to work and create and flow, fulfilling my unique purpose in the way that I was meant for. And my last life space is my travel what it looks and feels like to experience my dream travel destinations. Then, for each of your life spaces, you're going to answer the following questions. When do you feel most aligned and balanced in this particular life space? Imagine living your vision in this life space right now. How does it feel? What is the gap between your vision for your life space and your current reality? What is the one action you could take this year to move closer to your vision? And when I say one action step, I really do mean just one. Our goals and intentions can very quickly become too overwhelming when we make too many of them. So I found the best way to make true change in our lives is to just get hyper-focused on the handful of things that are actually gonna move the needle. A vision board is the visual representation of our dreams and our goals. By hanging it somewhere where you can see it every day, it'll inspire you and it'll be a daily reminder of where you wanna be headed. So whether your goals are to slow down or start a company or be a better parent or get fit, a vision board and focusing your mind on these goals in a visual way is gonna be such a powerful tool in your journey. So far, we've been focusing on uncovering what your vision for your life really is. Now it's time for the fun part, which is bringing it to life in a visual way. So the first step is really gathering your images. And I do that in a few different ways. The first is Pinterest. Create a Pinterest board to store the digital images that you love. You can pin from inspiring websites, Instagram, or even upload images from your phone's camera roll. Choose your favorites and then print them out yourself at home, or I like to email them to a local printing center for high quality copies. The second way is magazines. I love the ritual of getting out my stack of magazines and scissors and flipping through the pages. Be intentional about collecting magazines throughout the year that have inspiring imagery. I love going to a bookstore and flipping through design and lifestyle mags, and then I just buy one or two that speak to me. And the third way is your own life. Throughout the year, I'm always saving postcards, stickers, Polaroids, notes from family and friends, and travel mementos that I love, and I store them in a little folder that I keep at my desk. Then when I'm ready to create my vision board, I can pull them out and add this personal meaning to my board. In your Casa Zuma vision board kit, we include a tissue paper template that you can lay beside your canvas to help guide the placement of your images. It's divided up by your life spaces so that you can devote different areas of the board to these different parts of your life. Arrange your images how you want. There are no rules here. Just let your intuition be your guide. Then you're just gonna attach your images in each space of your canvas using your pins. I promise that once you've visualized what you want in life and you've honed in on the practical things that are actually gonna move the needle closer to your goals, you are going to wake up in the morning with a fresh sense of purpose and just a feeling of aliveness. You're gonna be so excited about the day. But now it's time to actually create the plan that is gonna help you make steps to turning those dreams into your reality. And it's really all rooted in what I call the morning practice. So every morning I start the day with my journal, my coffee, and a quick review of my vision board and my goals for each of my life spaces. It sounds ridiculously simple, but it's crazy how even just looking at my vision board elevates my mood, gives me more energy by just reminding me to show up as my best self that day, at least as much as I can. 
I mean, it's not possible to be your best self every single day and that's okay. Then I review that one action step for each of my life spaces that is going to move the needle closer to my goals. Let's say that for my relationships life space, I wanna have more one-on-one -on -one time with my kids. And the one action step that I've identified is that I'm going to carve out an afternoon date with each of them once a week. So reviewing that action step in the morning is gonna be an instant cue for my mind to get out my calendar and make sure that I've made time for that this week. And if I haven't, I can schedule it in. This is such a great way to make sure that your goals and your best intentions don't just get lost in the busyness of life. Again, it's simple, but it's the most powerful tool that I've found in my own life for continuing to make progress towards becoming the person I wanna be. Staying focused requires regular, consistent check-ins to just keep refocusing your energy over and over on what's most important to you. And we did it! Listen guys, I know this process takes some time on the front end, but it pays back immeasurably in your life. Think about it as money in the bank that keeps compounding. You are investing in yourself. And I truly believe that this process is one of the most powerful ways that you can keep making traction towards building your dream life. I've seen it in my own life. I believe in it. And that's why I do it every single year. I would really love to hear about your own journey with vision boarding. So drop a comment or send me a DM at Camille Styles on Instagram. And if you do send me a picture of your vision board, I would love to see it. I'm going to be hosting a live vision boarding workshop in early January, and you're all invited. I would love to see you there. I'll drop the link in the description so you can sign up. And remember, you are exactly where you're supposed to be. This process is about learning to listen to your inner voice and getting to know yourself more deeply. I have a feeling this is gonna be your best year yet.